Hey, what's up? Nat here, coming up on the show. Celebrating Lunar New Year. Gina Carano fired from The Mandalorian. And the truth about dragonflies. But before we get started, why don't you go ahead, hit subscribe. Billions of people around the world are celebrating Lunar New Year. They're welcoming in the Year of the Ox with bright festivals, dragon dances and lots and lots of yummy food. Here's Kale. When you look at these celebrations, it's not hard to work out that the Lunar New Year is a pretty big deal. People around the globe are gathering to celebrate the 15-day festival. From fireworks in China, dragons in Australia, and um, this rap video from the US Embassy in Vietnam. Check the calendar, Ted is coming soon. Kanta and Da Nang are in the mood. Move over, Eminem. Dan Crittenbrink is bringing the heat. Chuk Mun Na Moi from your boy in Hanoi. Chuk Mun Na Moi, spread the joy. While some of the festivities might be a little subdued this year, you know, because of COVID, it's still a super important festival to a lot of people. The traditional Chinese calendar follows the phases of the moon, which means the Lunar New Year is on a different day every year. There's an old legend that says all the fireworks and loud noises and the colour red scare away an ancient monster called Mian. The lunar calendar has a 12-year cycle, with a different animal every year. So it's time to say goodbye to the rat and hello to the ox. Hello, ox. Victoria is going into a five-day lockdown tonight. After a recent COVID outbreak at a quarantine hotel, the state government says it needs a circuit breaker to stop the virus spreading. From midnight, people won't be allowed to leave their homes except for these four reasons. Essential supplies, care and caregiving, exercise and essential work. Do you want to hear what an 18,000-year-old musical instrument sounds like? That's the sound of the oldest known conch shell horn in the world. It's incredible. It is more than 100 decibels. It was found in a cave in France nearly 100 years ago, but researchers thought it was a drinking cup. Years on, after spotting some likely looking holes, they invited a French horn player to bring the shell to life. Gina Carano has been fired from The Mandalorian after making a controversial post on social media. She plays Cara Dune in the Disney Plus hit show, but has now been told she won't appear in the Star Wars franchise again. Here's Leela. This is Gina Carano. She's an MMA fighter turned actor. You might know her best as Cara Dune from The Mandalorian. She's in the spotlight for some of the things she's been saying on social media. In a now deleted Instagram post, she compared being a Republican and a Donald Trump supporter to the experiences of Jewish people in Nazi Germany. That upset a lot of people, and the hashtag Fire Gina Carano started trending. Now Lucasfilm, which makes The Mandalorian, has announced Gina won't appear in the Star Wars universe again because it says those views are unacceptable. While some have supported the decision, others think her personal views shouldn't matter to the role, and the hashtag Cancel Disney Plus started trending. And a petition calling for her to keep the role has attracted thousands of signatures. We don't yet know if her character's gone for good or if someone else will play it. What we do know is for a story about The Mandalorian, we definitely haven't seen enough Baby Yoda. Next up... News from the Animal Kingdom? All right then. Researchers from the UK have just discovered dragonflies and cats have something interesting in common. In the same way cats have an inbuilt reflex to land on their feet, dragonflies do upside down backflips when they're thrown off balance. Its head will begin to move towards the floor and its tail will go towards the sky. And we think that's something to do with the really, really long body and the quite heavy head that's going to turn it. The humble Humboldt penguin. These little guys are under threat, so conservationists in Chile are trying to learn more about them and their behaviour. They're carefully counting every penguin in the whole country. Check out these porcupine twins born at a zoo in Belgium. Yep, they have those spines or quills even when they're babies. To begin with though, they're very soft, but they harden over time. 
They're the first porcupines to be born at the zoo in 25 years. But it won't be 25 years till we see you next. We're just going for the weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. In the meantime, hit subscribe and have a great weekend.